deciphering data, spotting trends and patterns. Hello, dear learners. Today, we'll be diving deep into the world of data interpretation, specifically focusing on identifying trends and patterns. In both life and exams like the GMAT and GRE, being able to spot these trends quickly and accurately can be invaluable. Let's learn how to recognize these patterns and make sense of complex data. When we talk about trends and patterns in data interpretation, we're referring to consistent, identifiable directions or sequences in data. For instance, if the sales of a company have been increasing every year, that's an upward trend. If a pattern of data repeats after every few intervals, like the seasons of a year, that's a cyclical pattern. It's crucial to differentiate between what's random and what's a genuine trend or pattern. A one-time spike or drop might just be an outlier and not indicative of a general trend. There are various tools and graphs which help in visualizing data and, thus, make spotting trends easier. 1. Line graphs. They show data points connected by straight lines. If the line is consistently moving upward or downward, you've spotted a trend. 2. Bar graphs. These use bars of varying lengths to represent data. By looking at the heights of different bars, you can get an idea about trends over discrete intervals. 3. Pie charts. Useful for understanding parts of a whole. If you're comparing parts of a whole over time and see the slices changing significantly, you've detected a trend. 1. Consistency is key. Patterns aren't usually about one-off occurrences. They repeat. Look for repeated sequences or behaviors. 2. Look beyond the obvious. Sometimes, trends aren't immediately clear. You might need to dig deeper, analyze subsets of data, or compare various data points. 3. Question the data. Always ask, why might this pattern exist? If there's no logical explanation, it might be worth re-examining. On these exams, data interpretation questions will often give you a set of data and ask questions based on it. Your task is to 1. Quickly identify. With limited time, practice will help you quickly spot trends and patterns. 2. Apply logic. Don't just rely on the visual. Use your logical reasoning skills to determine the significance of a trend. 3. Answer precisely. Once you've spotted a trend or pattern, ensure you understand what the question is asking. Then, use your findings to select the right answer. And that wraps up our exploration of identifying trends and patterns in data interpretation. Remember, like any other skill, practice is key. The more data sets you explore and the more patterns you try to identify, the better you'll become at it. We hope this video proves beneficial in your GMAT and GRE preparations, as well as in life's everyday decisions. Until next time, happy learning!